Alright, yo, what's good everybody? It's Zach Simone back at you with another vlog. Today we're going to be doing another edition of our weekly pick'ems today. Um, I know I didn't do last week's week pick'ems, but um, I'll go over the games and I'll also go over my picks. Um, but first off, in week 9, we had six teams on a bye week last week. We had the Baltimore Ravens, the Houston Texans, the Kansas City Chiefs, the Arizona Cardinals, the Detroit Lions, and the Seattle Seahawks. The Thursday night game, which was the Thursday night game, which was the Cleveland Browns at the Cincinnati Bengals. I took Cincinnati to rake the shit out of these motherfuckers because the Browns suck. Um, Dolphins at the Bills. I took the Bills. Patriots hosting the Redskins. I took the Patriots. Deion Lewis. Get well. He suffered a torn left ACL as they diagnosed it on Monday. Best luck, best wishes for him and his and his family. Next game up, we got the Jacksonville Jaguars at the New York Jets. I took the New York Jets because Fitzpatrick was playing. If they took Geno Smith, and I, I had Jacksonville all over that game. Next game up, we had the Oakland Raiders at the Pittsburgh Steelers. I took the Pittsburgh Steelers. Um. Good luck for Big Ben. Big Ben's going to be out for a couple of weeks with what appeared to be, I think, a sprained foot. Not a broken foot like what Des Bryant had, but a bro uh, sprained foot. Um, Broncos and the Colts. I took. I'm going to keep it real with you. I took. I took Denver in this game. I took Denver, so I didn't want to sound like I was going to get them all right because I'm not perfect. Um, in fact, shit, I got the next one wrong too. The next game, which was the Tennessee Titans at the New Orleans Saints. I took New Orleans in that game. Saints shall be a fucking shame to themselves. They lost to that sorry-ass Tennessee Titans team. They made Marcus Mariota look like... They made him look like fucking Johnny Unitas. Fucking... Uh, uh, fucking John Elway, Joe Montana type. You know what I'm saying? But granted, I have nothing against Marcus Mariota. I think Marcus Mariota is a fantastic quarterback. I think he's a better quarterback than Jameis Winston. Don't don't get me wrong. Next game, we had the New York Giants at the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I took the Giants to rate the shit out of the Bucs because the Bucs ain't shit, yet they're probably going to beat my sorry-ass fucking Cowboys because we can't win without Tony Romo. Um, Green Bay Packers at the Carolina Panthers. I took Carolina. This was a good fucking football game. Um, and shame on Carolina. The, the fact they almost let fucking Green Bay tie that game was ridiculous. N next game, which was the St. Louis Rams at the Minnesota Vikings. I took the Minnesota Vikings. Um, and fuck you, LaMarcus Joyner, you fucking dirty ass, fucking bitch ass motherfucker. I hope you get fucking plowed over, you piece of shit. Fucking took a, a straight arm and fucking clocked Teddy Bridgewater in the fucking head. Stupid ass motherfucker. I hope that motherfucker gets knocked out cold. Next game up, we got the Atlanta Falcons at the San Francisco 49ers. I took this as my upset pick. I had the San Francisco 49ers over the Bucks. Or, not the fucking Bucks. I'm fucking tripping. I had them winning over the Atlanta Falcons. Shame on fucking Atlanta. This has been their, their, the, the month for the Atlanta Falcons since they were 5-0. and They've lost at New Orleans... Okay, they lost 31 to, I think, 14, 31 to 21. I think they scored a touchdown late, but it didn't fucking matter. Um, they barely squipped by the fucking Titans. They won, I think, that game 10 to 7 or some other bullshit like that. And then they won, or they lost at home to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers 23 to 20 in overtime. And then they fucking lost to that sorry ass pathetic San Francisco 49ers team. Now granted, the 49ers are better than my fucking Cowboys. So I can't talk fucking shit. Um, next game up, we had the Philadelphia Eagles at the Dallas Cowboys. I actually took Philadelphia to fucking win this game. Um, simply because Rob Marinelli, he ain't shit. Fuck his defense and fuck him. Hope that sorry son of a bitch made motherfucker gets fired. Um... I hope we can fucking hire Rob Ryan again or fucking hire somebody. But get rid of that sorry son of a bitch made motherfucking name, Rob Marinelli. And the Monday night game. We had the Chicago Bears at the San Diego Chargers. San Diego lost Keenan Allen for the year. So I said, fuck it. I took the Chicago Bears. 
Uh, Bears ended up winning that game 22 to 19. Malcolm Floyd is out the remainder of the year with a torn labrum, and he had announced earlier in the year, I think, um, he announced that this was his last year. But I think it's kind of like Steve Smith. It would be anticlimactic if he ended his career that way. I think Steve Smith's going to come back next year. There's no way he's going to go out on a torn Achilles. That's impossible. Um, but now, getting on to Week 10. Our first game up, we have the Buffalo Bills and Rex Ryan going back home to New York to face on the New York Jets for the first time as a member of the Buffalo Bills. Jets have been playing really well this year. But I think the Bills are more hungrier for this game because they're going to play their hearts out for fucking Rex Ryan. I'm taking the Bills as an upset. I have the Bills. I know a lot of people are going to take the fucking Jets. I got the Buffalo Bills in this game. I think the Buffalo Bills are going to play their heart out. Next game up, we got the, the Miami Dolphins at the Philadelphia Eagles. Get the fuck out of here with that shit. E Dolphins ain't shit. The Eagles about to rape these motherfuckers. Um, next game up, we got the Cleveland Browns at the Pittsburgh Steelers. Fuck the Browns. They're about to get their ass raped to the Pittsburgh ship, the Pittsburgh Steelers. Um, I, I see Landry Jones is going to fucking rape that sorry ass defense. I mean, the Browns don't have defense. They're, they, they don't even have a team. Their team ain't shit. Um, next game up, we got the New Orleans Saints at the Washington Redskins. Wow, I actually don't know who to pick in this game. Really, I mean, because the Washington Redskins, if you think of it, they they have had such a weird fucking year, yet this could be a winnable game for them. You know what I'm saying? This could be a winnable game for the Washington Redskins. I'm actually taking the Redskins. Fuck the New Orleans Saints. They beat my Cowboys. They beat the fucking Giants. And then they lose to sorry-ass motherfucking football teams like the Tennessee Titans and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Fuck you, New Orleans. Anyway, next game up, we got the New England Patriots at the New York Giants. Fuck the New York Giants. They're a bunch of pussy motherfuckers. I hope they get... I hope... I hope... And I know this sounds silly. I hope Tom Brady sticks his dick in their fucking ear hole and says, Fuck you, New York. I want the Giants to get fucking blown out I, and you're hearing this right I would rather take the New England Patriots over the fucking New York Giants fuck New York um I, yeah I got I got the uh I got the Patriots Patriots are just too fucking good um they have just way too many weapons offensively and they have a great defense too um I see that game being like 48 to 27 at minimum Next game up, we got the Jacksonville Jaguars at the Baltimore Ravens. I know a lot of people are going to think I'm fucking silly. I'm taking Jacksonville. Jacksonville's got good fucking wide receivers in the Allen duo, in Allen Hearns and Allen Robinson. That Allen Hearns kid's fucking crazy. He scored, I think, may, I think it was five, if not six. The motherfucker has six touchdowns in six straight games. Six, you know, consecutive games with at least a touchdown. That's fucking crazy. Um, yeah, I'm taking Jacksonville. Baltimore ain't shit. Next game up, we got, we got the Houston Texans at the Cincinnati Bengals as the Monday night football game. I'm taking the Houston Texans, or, wait, oh, no, 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 no. I'm fucking tripping. They're facing the Bengals, oh, get the fuck out of here. The Bengals are about to rape those motherfuckers. The Texans suck. Texans, who do the Texans have? Be honest with me. Besides J.J. Watt and fucking that motherfucker from Clemson. What's that motherfucker's name? DeAndre Hopkins. Besides DeAndre Hopkins and J.J. Watt, the, the Texans ain't shit. I got Cincinnati fucking them up. Oh, before I get any further, our bye weeks, we have four teams. We have the Indianapolis Colts, the San Diego Chargers, the Atlanta Falcons, and the San Francisco 49ers. Um, next game up, we got the Denver Broncos hosting the Kansas City Chiefs. I want Kansas City to win this fucking football game because I can't stand fucking Peyton Manning. Um, but I see Denver winning that game. 
it's at home for Denver. I'm taking Denver. Next game up, we got the Chicago Bears at the St. Louis Rams. Get the fuck out of here with that shit. Todd Gurley's going to run all over that sorry-ass motherfucking Chicago Bear defense. I see Todd Gurley running for, like, at minimum 100, over 150 yards. Um, he The motherfucker probably could get a 200-yard rushing game. But anyway, next game up, we got the Carolina Panthers at the Tennessee Titans. Get the fuck out of here, Tennessee. You got lucky ass because of that shitty-ass New Orleans Saints defense. Carolina about to blow you motherfuckers out, but I was gonna, I said this, I know people are gonna be like, oh Zach, you said the same thing about Atlanta, and look at that score, yeah, granted, Carolina's defense is far much better than the Atlanta Falcons defense, trust me on that, um, yeah, I got Carolina, I think Carolina's gonna go 9-0, Next game up, we got the Tampa Bay Buccaneers hosting my Dallas Cowboys. I'll get to them later on. Um, next game up, we got the, the the Detroit Lions at the Green Bay Packers. Get the fuck out of here with that shit. Lions ain't shit. Packers about to rape these motherfuckers. And it's at Lambeau, so yeah. Fuck you, Detroit. You're about to get fucking blown out through your ear hole and out your asshole. Next game up, we got the... Uh, who is the next game? Oh, here it is. Next game up, we got the Minnesota Vikings at the Oakland Raiders. Damn, that's going to be a good fucking football game. And I guarantee a lot of people didn't see that game being a good football game. Um, It's in Oakland. That's the, the number... That is the number one thing that I have to point out, okay? It's in Oakland. Two, Teddy Bridgewater may not play. And three, Derek Carr is a fucking beast. I don't give a fuck what anyone says. All right, anyway, next game up, we got the, ah, yes, my favorite. The Dallas Cowboys are going to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Granted, I think Dallas should have won that fucking game against Philadelphia. The one problem was the pick six to that sorry son of a bitch made motherfucker named Jordan Hicks. Now, granted. I wish him a speedy recovery because I hate I hate seeing players injured. But I know Dallas fans are going to be like, Oh, Zach, he's the motherfucker that hurt Tony Romo. I don't give a shit if he fucking took Tony Romo's balls out. You feel me? You don't cheer for a player when he gets fucking hurt. And for those motherfuckers that do, shame on you. You ruthless piece of fucking shits. You ought to all be ashamed of yourself if you fucking cheer for an injured player. I saw over my Twitter, these stupid-ass Cowboys fans were like, Oh yeah, fuck you, Jordan Hicks. That's what you get for fucking injuring Tony Romo. What a bunch of piece of shits. You f I'm telling you. I'm going to say this. A lot of people think our season was over after this game against at Philadelphia. And Grant, it was a great fucking football game. But wouldn't you know, that shitty-ass fucking defense threw the game away. But not to get off topic, our last game, Tampa Bay, okay, has won one fucking home game in 14 tries, dating back to the start of last year. They went 0-8 last year, and they're, I think, 1-3. 3-1-2, and two, the motherfuckers suck at home. I'll say that much. But yet, a lot of people are like, Oh, well, they're better than your fucking team. The record indicates it. Really? Because the last time I checked, if we had Tony Romo, fuck, I mean, fuck, we didn't even really. I think without Des Bryant, we would have been okay. But when we lost Tony Romo, we got fucked. But Dallas at this point should have been at minimum Seven and one, if not six and two. Okay. Anyway. Anyway. I'm confident that we can win this fucking game, but we can't lose this motherfucking game. If we lose this game, our season's over. Doesn't mean I'm giving up on the season. I'm just going to say this. I even tweeted it. If we lose this fucking game, I'm going to be sick. Re like, repet I'm going to be sick for about a week or two. Or maybe for fucking ever. If we lose to this sorry-ass motherfucking team we call the Tampa Bay fucking fucking years. I can't even finish it. 
I'm just... I will be so disappointed if we lose to that trash motherfucking football team they call the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. 18 fucking points. 18 fucking points. They were in the red zone. Correct me if I'm wrong. Those motherfuckers were in the red zone five times and they got one fucking touchdown. Now granted, Giants defense is much better than my sorry ass fucking Cowboys defense. I still think Dallas will win this game. I think Des Bryant's going to have a big fucking game. I got Dallas winning this. I got Dallas winning 27-17. But, I will say the key to this game, guard, I don't give a fuck. It's, it's exactly like Julio fucking Jones, okay? If you have to triple guard the motherfucker, if you have to, like, have one guy breathing down his fucking back, and one guy breathing down his shirt, and one guy fucking, you know, sticking his dick up his ass, do it. Do not let Mike Evans beat you like Julio Jones did this year. Because I'll bring up the fucking numbers. I have it right fucking here. Julio Jones had nine catches for 162 fucking receiving yards and two scores. Double guard Mike Evans. That's all I'm going to say. That concludes this weekly pick -em. I'm sorry I let my emotions get to me. Go Cowboys. Throw up the X. Get a fucking win for Tony Romo and let's get this shit rolling.